Hello again Year 8 and this is your lesson on climate change. So to start off on the screen you should see three questions uh, for you to have a go at and we'll review these at the end. So number one, what is a compound? Two, how is carbon recycled? Three, if a reaction gives out energy, what type of reaction is it? So endo or exothermic? All of these three are questions from this topic that you've looked at so far. So if you struggle with any, it might be worth going back and having a look at those PowerPoints. OK, so have a go at those three questions. We'll come back to them at the end of this lesson and you can review them. OK, so climate change, big topic are all around the world at the moment. Um, prior to the virus, probably the biggest topic that was ranging around the world in terms of news coverage, and in terms of concerns amongst people. So a few questions to get us started here. So we've got this image on the board and we need to think about how it links to climate change. So what's going on, where, when, who, and why? Okay, so how could this be considered evidence for global warming? So just have a go at answering those five questions. Just note down some ideas about what you think this image is showing us. How is it relevant to climate change or global warming? And then we'll go through and discuss them in just a few seconds. So pause the video now to have a go at those answers, please. So obviously those questions, this picture shows the polar bear, which is one of the animals that could suffer most from potential global warming or climate change. So we've got the polar bear in the Arctic. Uh, it is current. Possibly the who part could refer to all of us who are indirectly or directly contributing to global warming effect. And why is this an issue where you can see the images trying to show a lack of sea ice, which is where the polar bears spend most of their time, is where they hunt is where they need to be in order to survive. As global temperatures increase, that sea ice becomes diminished, doesn't extend as far, and therefore doesn't give them the place to hunt, to catch their dinner, to eat, to survive, to be able to pass on their genes and survive as a species. So one issue that could be affected by global warming, there are a huge number of issues, but this is one that you often see referred to. So we're going to look at some of the causes of climate change. So we're going to look at both the natural and the human causes of climate change. There are natural ways in which our climate changes over time, uh, as well as some of the human impacts. So the human impacts are the things that we might see more referred to in the media about pollution, about cars, uh, factories, power stations, things like that. Uh, but we'll come to those towards the end. Your task after we've been through these is to write a sentence to explain each. So just a summary and a challenge is to include a comment on the time scale. So, for example, 100,000 years or what they affect, for example, ice ages. OK, some of those you might need to do some extra research about, but we're going to go through these seven causes of climate change in brief together. So first one is orbital changes. Now, the reason that this impacts our climate is because unlike the picture on the left here, our planet does not follow a circular path around the sun. It is not a circular, so we don't stay the same distance away from the sun the whole time. It is elliptical. So this picture on the right shows an elliptical orbit. So you can see at some points like here, it's very close to the sun, whereas some points down here, it's further away. Logically, closer we are to the sun, so up here, the warmer it's going to be. Further away from the sun we are, the cooler it's going to be. This is not going to have a huge impact on whether life is sustainable on Earth, but it will affect our climate to some extent. The next natural cause of climate change is the axial tilt. So the Earth is tilted, it's not straight up. This tilt changes over time. So this is a natural phenomenon. When the angle increases, so for example, from 21.1 degrees here up to 24.5 degrees, 
it results in more extremes of weather. So the summer's become much warmer and the winter's become cooler. Okay, so that affects our climate in creating greater extremes in the weather. The next one is something called sunspots. So sunspots are relatively cooler, darker parts of the sun. So these parts here on the sun are sunspots. Okay. Fairly obvious why they are called that. Now these parts are slightly cooler than the surrounding parts of the sun. Okay. They are still very hot obviously, but much cooler in comparison to the rest of the sun. However, they are often accompanied with solar flares, which release huge amounts of energy. So even though those parts themselves may be reduced in the energy that they are emitting because they are cooler, they will release huge amounts due to solar flares. So that energy is blasting towards our planet and can interfere with satellites and things like that as well. So the last natural causes of climate change we're going to look at is volcanic activity. So volcanoes affect climate through the gases and dust particle, particles thrown into the atmosphere during eruptions. So some of the gases that are released from volcanoes are greenhouse gases, so they cause the earth to warm. And it also helps to trap some of that heat around the earth um, rather than allowing it to escape into our atmosphere and then into space. Finally, we're going to look at the human causes. So human causes come down to three main gases. These are greenhouse gases. We've got methane, which is the one on the left, carbon dioxide in the middle and nitrogen oxide on the right. Uh, so most of these are involved in combustion, as we looked at in our lesson on the carbon cycle, particularly by burning fossil fuels. Uh, these act as greenhouse gases, so they trap heat around the Earth and prevent it from escaping into space. So a recap then, those are the seven topics of, sorry, seven causes of climate change that I would like you to write a sentence about for each, just to summarize what effect they have on our planet, what they are caused by and how they affect our climate. Remember the challenge if you want to extend yourself. So write these down and then send these to your teacher, please. Okay, so just a bit of evidence for climate change, what causes, what impacts it's having on our planet. So if we look first of all at the picture in the top left over here, now, these pictures are two pictures from the same position, same time of year, of the Earth, and it's taking a picture of the Arctic sea ice. So the Arctic is obviously the white bit in the middle of the picture, and you can see in comparison between 1979 at the top and 2007, a huge reduction in the amount of sea ice. So coming back to our picture at the start about the polar bears, that means less space for them to hunt and breed. Down bottom left, this picture is showing somebody looking at core samples from the ice. So they drill through it to see what gases are present and how rapidly it is either being lost or forming. In the middle here shows a comparison of a mountain in 1985 compared to 2002 and you can see a huge difference in the amount of snow and ice that is present on that mountain. Bottom right working across shows a graph comparing the global temperature and the amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. So we would say this has a strong correlation because as the amount of carbon dioxide is increasing that red line we can see that the average global temperature is also increasing and then finally last picture top right this is showing some well in the top picture a uh, glacier with some mountains in the background in the bottom picture the glacier is no more so glacier is where ice is formed on top of land 
and we can see now that, that is now a lake okay so was frozen no longer concerning okay so coming back to our start questions what is a compound first of all a compound is two or more elements that are chemically bonded chemically bonded is the important part if they are not chemically bonded then they are just a mixture number two how is carbon recycled so you could have had several um, ways for this you could have had that it is uh, used in combustion or respiration and then it is absorbed into the oceans or absorbed in photosynthesis or in rocks number three if a reaction gives out energy what type of reaction is it it is exothermic exo means exits it gives out energy okay so that is our lesson for today there are several questions including some longer answer questions for you to complete on the google form look very carefully at the number of marks that are available that reflects how much information you need to provide okay so there are a few questions that are four marks or six marks so it is not sufficient to just write one sentence you need to expand on it and build your answers okay look at the keywords and look at the expectations for the question right thank you i hope this was useful and i'll speak to you in the next lesson